We are so blessed here by the children's messages, aren't we? Amen. And uh, um, I know we don't have a lot of children as a part of our congregation, age-wise children. Uh, and I'm so glad that even when we don't have little ones here, uh, either Kylie or Elizabeth still pour their heart into sharing a message that maybe even relates more to us than what I've got to say a later on. <laughs> so thank you. So uh, let your light shine. Uh, one of the things that often dims our light is the guilt we carry around, right? Uh, and we think we got to hide in the dark. And Jesus says, come on out into the light, my light, because my light is not a light to expose you in some sort of hurtful way. My light is there to heal you. And that's what this time in our service is about each week, to come into the light before God. So let me invite you to bow for just a moment of personal reflection and prayer silently. And then we shall join together in the prayer it's printed. Let us pray together. May the radiance of Christ shine into those dark, dank cellars of the mind where we entertain negative thoughts and mull over ideas for revenge against those who have hurt us. Savior Christ, come and heal us. Radiant Christ, come and transform us. May the radiance of Christ shine in the dark depths of the soul, where we bear the burden of sad regrets and the guilt of failed faith and love. Savior Christ, come and heal us. Radiant Christ, come and transform us. May the radiance of Christ drive out the darkness of sin and ignorance, Release us from servitude of guilt and renew the fullness of our being for a life of fruitfulness and joy. Savior Christ, come and heal us. Radiant Christ, come and transform us. We thank you, loving God, for the mercy which leaves no sin untouched, no wild part of the soul unchallenged, and no thirst for true righteousness unsatisfied. From the beginning to end, you are grace, mercy, and peace. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Once more, we're so happy to have